Houston is ready for liftoff, the 51st Super Bowl, one large historic step for the winning team. For Atlanta Falcons, it would be their first ever Super Bowl victory. They lost their previous one in 98. For New England, a win would be a fifth for quarterback Tom Brady, all under coach Bill Belichick. They are quite a combination. And Brady doesn't seem to have lost any of his powers at 39 years old. I love this sport and I've, I commit my life to playing it. And there's a lot of decisions that I make uh, based on my lifestyle that help me play at this uh, more experienced age than most. So um, I love doing it. In Boston, they feel it's New England v everyone else. Already a brilliant but unpopular franchise, Deflategate, when they were found guilty of letting the air out of balls, has led to dislike from NFL fans and tension with the league's bosses. Most neutrals want a Falcons win. Their offense has been prolific this season, but now Matt Ryan and his heavy scorers face the steel door of the Patriots. Ryan hasn't conceded an interception for six games, but modestly credits coach Dan Quinn. He does such a great job of, of connecting with you on a personal level, understanding what makes you tick and, and uh, what, makes you, what makes you go. And, um, you know, he's, he's kind of nailed that with me. He's nailed that with everybody on our team. Television adverts are sold for $5 million for a 30-second slot, and the audience peaks during the halftime show, an essential part of what makes this America's biggest annual event. Details of Lady Gaga's performance are being kept secret, but rumoured to include her dangling from the stadium's roof. Super Bowl host City Houston is on a high too. It has embraced being the centre of attention, and celebrations have taken place throughout the week. Reaching Super Bowl is a special achievement for American footballers and their teams. Nobody can ever take that away. But once the action starts in the NRG Stadium, it'll all be about winning and getting their hands on the prestigious Super Bowl rings and that Vince Lombardi trophy. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, Houston, Texas.